My name is Ronnie, and this is my aha moment. Hip Hop Doc is, 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 is a guy, my alter ego. I use music and medicine to educate young people on health issues. I was doing this in college and had worked with a group of underprivileged kids uh, called Project Scientific Discovery to help them better themselves. And after graduating from college, of course, the program fell apart. Um, I moved on, uh, went on to med school, became the Hip Hop Doc, my alter ego. Was out one night with some friends listening to live music and get a tap on the shoulder. And a young man comes up to me and says, hey, doc, do you remember me? It's like, uh, you look familiar. Where would I know you from? He said, we did Project Scientific Discovery together. And I was like, cool. I said, yeah, Benjamin, I remember you. So give him a hug. Hey, hey, look, man, you look great. You know, what have you. And so I said, well, what are you doing now? I says, man, I'm, I'm about to finish grad school. And I'm looking at this kid. I'm getting chills telling you about it now because Benjamin was an at-risk kid, single-parent home. His mother worked two jobs. He never knew his father. And to be quite honest with you, I'm also a prison physician. I had seen several of the kids that had been in PSD or Project Scientific Discovery in jail. So I kind of felt self-defeated, like, man, I, maybe what I was doing was a waste of time. And at that particular time, I was still in a little dilemma about the hip-hop doc, like using hip-hop as a genre to educate people on health issues. And some people weren't very accepting of that initially. So this kid tells me he's in grad school and that you know he's being successful. And he says, and by the way, man, I feel like you had a significant part of me making it to grad school, I was like, wow, like, you know, I actually helped someone. You know, I always hear people say, if I could just help one child, you know, if I could just reach one child. Well, I had someone actually tell me that. I think most people that are in the community doing community service never hear that from someone. But to be alive and have one person say, hey, man, you were responsible for me being successful, it's like, that's amazing. And I was like, aha, whatever is what they all think till they die trying to drive after one too many drinks. Obesity, people lying around the house all day, they're going to learn the hard way. That's what we all say. I'm a doctor. I don't need rap, but I choose to do it because I love to give back. Just doing my part, trying to make this world better. Some people say I can't rap. I say, Whatever.